The storm team has had a few reports today from something that you may think looks like a tornado, but that's not quite the case. Storm Team 10's Chris Piper joins us now live to explain. Well, Kevin, the weather has definitely picked up today and naturally just started raining right here outside of our studio with leftovers from Barry moving into the valley along with some cooler temperatures that you've no doubt felt. It's not uncommon to experience something called a cold air funnel. Here's what has to happen. First, there needs to be a layer of cool air near the ground. That's behind a front because the keyword here behind is the keyword here because if it was before the front, we could see a tornado. Next, there are two different wind patterns. The wind close to the ground goes one way while the wind high up goes the opposite way. As the cool air rises, these opposite wind patterns will cause rotation. This rotation will try to touch the ground, but in most cases it stays high up in the air. If it touches the ground, there's likely minimal to no damage. Now again, these look like tornadoes, but they don't quite touch the ground. They can happen at any time during severe weather like what we're having right now here in the Wabash Valley. For now, reporting live outside our studio, Chris Piper, Storm Team 10.